Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I will show you how to create this stunning 3D letter poster design in Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep create content for you? Thanks and now let's get started. So I already added a new page. The first thing what we need is the letter D. So I'm going to the frames, see all, searching for the letters, see all, and here is the letter D. And going back to the elements, nope, sorry, elements, and scrolling up, see all, I use this image. But as I remember, yes. But first I need to flip, flip horizontal. And just uh, adding to the to the Canva. The it's important this for me it's much better, easier to uh, to add the proper size into the frames if I using the edges of the of the canva so in this case in this case i know uh, i have to increase the image from the top to the bottom and have to put into the left side so it's the easiest way to create for me oh sorry i just forgot to do this and just have to find the size and the uh, size and also the position for the letter like this maybe even more like this yeah and this uh, leg will be in this uh, 3d part so the thing what i need i have to increase the size i just have to drop into the frame and now here is what I talk about. So if I just uh, duplicating it, so duplicate, double click on it, sorry. I have to duplicate just <laughs> first thing first. So I just have to increase the size to match the top to the bottom and then just moving to the left side. In this case, I know the two images actually in the same size and the same position. If I put this image to the middle, it's uh, also doable to, do, to match the two images to each other, but uh, for me it's much easier, just have to move into the left side. And anyhow, in the end, we will remove the background, so that's not that important. So what I mentioned, I have to duplicate this letter, move into the same position, and moving to the right. And uh, going to the edit, adjust and just uh, the brightness moving to the, to the left to minus 100, going to the position and change the order of the, the pictures. Oh no, I forgot to do one thing first, double click on it just move into the same position. In this case, the two images in the same position, like here. And now going to the positions and just move into the down. Don't move to the one, la one layer down than the top letter. Yes, this one just checking it okay in the same position. And if I click on this, now in the same position also. So click on the top layer and uh, 
I need a border, just click on the border style, just a border weight, I just increase to six and border color, I'm moving to change it to white. As you can see, it's already a really nice 3D, kind of 3D effect here with the leg. And maybe we just in, uh, keep this portion also. Something is not so good here. Now it's in the same position as I need. So everything is everything is uh, added at the moment, but now I just have to remove the background of the original image. And uh, we can add some background just to have some colors. No, these legs are removed. The only funny thing, so due to this uh, background remover, the nose is also removed. And how can we avoid this? I just have to... No. Just doing again, just let the same image, flip horizontal, moving to the same size. And now, just cropping it like this, increasing the size, I mean zooming more. And now I start to play with the image size, oops, with the image size. Now it's good and just have to crop from the left and also from the top yes as you can see now the nose is back <laughs> it was if you have this issue with any of the images feel free to use this uh, trick and uh, you can get a normal that's not good the white is not good actually uh, yellow I think with yellow is supposed to be good. The yellow is the, the white is not good due to I used a white frame, white border for the letter, and in this case the the background and the frame will be one portion at least of these edges where the two parts are uh, touching. So uh, just downloading it. This is just a page two. I need to download page two with transparent background and with a maximum size. Open a new page. Let's change in the color to some better one. But this transparent one. So I added the image to the new page. As you can see, it's really looks like a 3D letter and now go into the edit and just add some shadow at the drop shadow just uh, to play a bit like intensity I just increase the intensity blur amount to 30 angle as good distance I think I just yeah moving to 40 I think yeah 40 is good and now it's already a uh, very nice 3d letter effect and as you can see in the, in the top I just created oh I forgot to do one thing Yeah, I forgot to do one thing at here, and I think this is the most important one. Not here, sorry. Uh, I just have to delete this image. Here, this is supposed to be in here.
I just think of which one is better. This is also nice, or we can actually play a bit with this image. It is also, yeah, outside of this uh, letter, that's good. But if you would like to crop it, maybe we can crop a bit here and here to match better with uh, letters. But I think this is already a nice one. So I can uh, download again, download page number two. I forgot to do this before. So I just moved it to the front. Something it's not so nice here. This uh huh. Okay, now it's better. Just try to match everything as it's the best shape. Yeah, it's nice, it's good. So, again, save, so download, not all pages, that's a page number two, maximum size, transparent background, download. So I download it again, upload to the, to the Canva, and now, so again, I have to use the edit shadows, drop shadow, increase the intensity a bit again, distance just removing, just reduce a bit and the blur just a bit. And now, how can we do this effect? The best thing what I can do is the apps and use the easy reflections increase reflection below the opacity to 100 offset i think just remove reduce to around 30 percent and at the design you have to increase to the same maybe to the same size Still bigger. Okay, just moving down to here. That's nice. And what we can do also, so I added both uh, images to each other. This one is a layer bring to front yes and I'm just moving a bit with the with the buttons yes nice nice going back to the elements add one square just fit the whole whole page searching for some gradients scrolling up add new color and here i just change the gradient from uh, linear to other than 180 with so from from the vertical to horizontal and changing the colors yeah and now silver is in the bottom it might be a bit more lighter like this and click on the white and reduce the transparency and we can move it a bit down if needed like this And here is the final outcome and it's 
I'm so satisfied with it. I really like it. I think it looks amazing. Hope so you are also like it. So if you really like my tutorial, please do not forget to hit that small like button, subscribe to my channel, leave comment in the comment section if I miss anything in a tutorial or you miss something from the tutorial or you struggling anything with a Canva. Please also visit my Facebook page where you can find uh, lots of other Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from other Canva experts. Plus you can find a bunch of text to image uh, generation prompts for different kinds of uh, applications. So if you're also interested in this area, please feel free to check my uh, Facebook page also. You can find a link in the description. But now this tutorial is really going to end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.